All right, guys, let's talk about the Facebook Pixel. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys what the Pixel is, how to find it, and how to use it to bring more awareness to whatever it is that you're trying to do. All right, let's get into it. We rich from anywhere, baby, baby. baby. So first of all, what is the Facebook Pixel? I'm gonna keep this very, very simple for you. The Facebook Pixel is a little piece of code that you put on your website, and what it does is it basically just tracks the behavior on your website. Okay, so when people are checking out certain buttons, they're, they're looking at certain pages, they're buying stuff, right? The pixel is sitting there and it's collecting all that data and it's basically storing that data for you to use, okay? The other thing that it's doing though is it's taking all that data, that's all that activity that's happening on your website and it's sending it back over to Facebook, okay? So now when you're running Facebook ads, you know which ads are actually making you money and which ads are wasting your money. And so you can start making strategic decisions with which ads to scale up, which ones to turn off, and all that good stuff. And you, if you don't have a pixel installed on your website, you cannot do this. So remember this, no pixel, no profits. It is virtually impossible for you to scale your Facebook and Instagram ads without a pixel on your site, okay? so. It does a lot of other things, but I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna cover that in this video. Let's go straight into where can I find this pixel, right? Because this is the question we get all the time. The pixel's so important, all right, that's great, but where do I find it? Where is it? And does it cost me money to have it? So first of all, no, it's free. You don't have to pay for the pixel. It's inside the back end of your Facebook, and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now, okay? What I want you to do is go to business.facebook.com, and then you can do forward slash settings. Okay, and when you go to that page, it's probably gonna take you to a page that looks like this. Here, let me get my face out of the way. It's gonna take you to a page that looks like this, and you're gonna select the business manager that you're using. If you don't have a business manager, you'll need to set that up. You can go to business.facebook.com forward slash overview to go ahead and create a business manager if you don't already have one, okay? But if you do, then just select the one that you operate in. So for instance, we're rich from anywhere. I'm gonna go ahead and select this business manager here. Okay, cool, and then it'll take you to your business manager. Now here's how you do it. If you wanna create the pixel, what you do is you go over on the left-hand side and you're gonna to come to a little tab that says data sources. And when you go to the submenu, you're gonna see something that says pixels, so naturally you would think, okay, this is where I'm gonna go and create my pixel and find all my information, but Facebook has changed this as they tend to do. This is no longer where your pixel stuff is at. What you actually need to do is go down to the menu item that says data sets, okay? And data sets is where all your pixels are going to be uh, stored at, okay? So if you don't have a Facebook pixel, what you're gonna need to do is create one by clicking add, and then go ahead and name your pixel, okay? And by the way, it's called a data set now, so a lot of people call it different things. You can call it a pixel, you can call it a data set, whatever you wanna call it, um, it's the same thing, essentially, okay? So what you're gonna do is go ahead and name your pixel. I would recommend just naming your pixel like the name of your business. So for instance, I would just put business pixel, right? And you put whatever the name of your business is, okay? And then you just hit create. I'm just gonna go through this process with you so you can see how it all works. Okay, cool. As soon as you create your pixel, you're gonna see that it actually shows right here on this little middle column right here, okay? So at this point, you have now created your pixel and it's there for you. And if you see right here on the middle, this is your pixel ID right here, these, this long stream of numbers. So if you're using something like Shopify or some kind of e-commerce store or Square, a lot of these Wix sites and stuff like that, a lot of times when you're trying to integrate your Facebook pixel with your website on like Wix or Shopify or something like that, they're gonna require you to provide your pixel ID. And this is the pixel ID that you're gonna place on the website so you can link it properly, okay? Now, if you're using like a funnel builder or something like that where you have like a, a, a header or a footer or a tracking code that you need to actually put the, the pixel code in, let me show you how to do that right now. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up to the top to this little menu item here and then go over to the events manager. And when you get to the events manager, on the left-hand side, I want you to go over to where it says data sources and then you're gonna just find your pixel, okay? So we have a lot of different pixels, so I'll just give you one for example. And then down here, in the middle, you're gonna see where it says add events. You're gonna click on that, and then you're gonna click add new integration, and then you're gonna select where it says metapixel, and then hit setup, 
Then you're gonna keep it on manually add code to your website and you're gonna click get started. And when you do that, it's gonna take you to a page that looks like this and it's gonna say copy base code. Now when you click on this little green button right here, that's gonna copy your whole entire pixel code to your clipboard. And what you can do is just you know, open up like a notepad or something like that and go ahead and paste your pixel code into that notepad just so you have it for your own reference later. But that pixel code right there is what you're gonna put in the tracking code in the header of your funnel or your landing page, okay? And then you're gonna hit save and then you're all good there, okay? So now at this point, you have your Facebook pixel on your website and you are tracking data, you're collecting data, and that is very, very important, okay? Data is the most valuable resource in the business world, but you have to leverage it the right way, okay? So what I would recommend doing is now that you got your pixel installed, start going out, running Facebook ads to start going out and finding more clients that are looking for your stuff, right? Because there are thousands tens of thousands, probably hundreds of thousands, maybe even millions of people out there that would love to buy your stuff right now if they just knew that you existed, all right? And Facebook is an incredible tool to be able to get your stuff out there fast, okay? Now, if you're just getting started and you don't really know how to run Facebook ads and you're looking for like a good blueprint, like a guide to kind of show you how to do it, dude, we have the most insanely valuable, the most affordable Facebook ads course that you've ever seen in your life and I've linked it in the description below. We're gonna walk you step by step through the whole entire process so you can get your Facebook ads running the right way, okay? So click the link in the description, check it out for yourself. And when you go through the course, comment below let us know how it was because we've been getting some incredible reviews on this course and it's really been helping people like understand the process a lot better and get more traction and quality traffic to their site and all that good stuff, right? Also, if you have any questions about anything that I went through in this video and you want further clarification on stuff, comment below. We got you. We tried our best to answer every single question uh, that comes in.